Hi, welcome to our YouTube tutorial series on Experiments with Cortex M0 MM32 F series microcontroller. In today's exciting episode, we are diving into the world of microcontroller interfacing and expanding our input and output capabilities using shift register ICs. Microcontrollers are the brains behind countless electronic projects, and understanding how to extend their I.O. pins is a valuable skill for any electronics enthusiast, hobbyist, or professional. Whether you are a beginner looking to expand your knowledge or an experienced developer seeking new insights, this tutorial will provide you with clear and detailed instructions to help you succeed in your microcontroller experiments. So, grab your MM32F series microcontroller and shift register ICs, and let's embark on this journey of exploration and discovery. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have a deeper understanding of microcontroller I.O. expansion and be ready to tackle even more complex projects. If you are excited about tinkering with electronics and programming, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell, so you never miss an episode of our Cortex-M0 MM32F series microcontroller experiments. Let's get started on today's experiment and take our electronic projects to the next level. ARM Cortex-M0 is the kernel with embedded flash memory and static RAM Cortex-M0 processor is the latest embedded ARM processor. It provides a low-cost platform, reduced pins, decreased system power consumption, superior computing performance, and an advanced interrupt servicing system to realize the requirements of MCU. The ARM Cortex-M0 is a 32-bit RISC processor that improves code efficiency and makes full use of the high-performance ARM kernel in the storage space of common 8- and 16-bit systems. This product has a built-in ARM core, so it is compatible with all ARM tools and software. The embedded flash memory of up to 16 kilobytes for storing programs and data and with embedded static RAM of up to 2 kilobytes. MM32F0010 microcontroller. A quick overview. Flash memory size is 16 kilobytes for application code and data. Static RAM size is 2 kilobytes. 3 timers, 16-bit universal timer, basic timer and advanced timer. 3 communication interfaces, UART, I2C and SPI. 18 GPIO ports. 8 channel 12-bit ADC. 48 MHz CPU frequency. 2.2 to 5.5 volt operating voltage. Operation temperature, minus 40 to plus 105 degrees Celsius. Microcontroller-based projects often require interfacing with multiple input devices or sensors. When the number of inputs exceeds the available GPIO pins on the microcontroller, you can use external components like shift registers to expand your input capabilities. One commonly used shift register for this purpose is the 74HC165. In this experiment, we'll explore how to interface a 74HC165 shift register to expand the input capacity of a microcontroller. The 74HC165 is a popular integrated circuit commonly used in digital electronics for parallel to serial data conversion, specifically in shift register applications. This IC is part of the 74HC series, which encompasses a wide range of digital logic components designed for various functions. The 74HC165, in particular, serves as an 8-bit parallel in serial out shift register, allowing you to efficiently read multiple digital input signals using a minimal number of microcontroller pins. The 74HC165 has two control pins, clock SHCP or SRCLK, and clock enable STCP or RCLK. The clock pin shifts data from the parallel inputs into the internal register, while the clock enable pin latches the data into the output register. By controlling these pins, one can control the timing of data transfer. 
Here are some key features and details about the 74HC165. The primary function of the 74HC165 is to convert parallel data inputs into a serial data stream that can be easily read by a microcontroller or another digital device. It has 8 parallel input pins, a 2H, and 1 serial output, Q7. Multiple 74HC165 ICs can be cascaded to extend the number of input pins while using only a single microcontroller or shift register output. The serial output, Q7, of the 74HC165 provides a serial data stream representing the state of the parallel input pins. By continuously shifting the data using clock pulses, you can sequentially read the status of each input. The 74HC165 typically operates at 5 volts, making it compatible with most TTL and CMOS logic circuits. However, it's essential to check the datasheet for specific voltage and current requirements. The 74HC165 is commonly used in applications where you need to interface with multiple digital inputs efficiently. For example, it can be used in projects involving keypad scanning, button matrix interfaces, or reading status from multiple digital sensors. The above circuit demonstrates the connection between the TTL IC74 HC165 and the MM32F0010 microcontroller. On the physical target board, the input, output, I.O. pins are shared with the 74HC595 for output expansion, which is why you'll notice the presence of the latch pin. This is the designated application board on which we will conduct experiments involving the MM32F0010 microcontroller. It serves as the primary printed circuit board, PCB, for our Smart Dual Water Level Controller project. In this particular application, we have incorporated LED output functionality utilizing the 74HC595 shift register, and for digital signal input, we've integrated the 74HC165 shift register. To enhance clarity and ease of use, all labels on the board have been clearly marked. Should you have any specific questions or require further information, please feel free to post your queries in the comments section. Now friends, it's time to do the experiment. Before we start the experiment, let me again introduce you to the hardware. We have seen in the PowerPoint presentation, the hardware details, all the pins. Uh, you have to recall all those connections. Now I will just show you the, uh, the other things which are uh, present in this experiment. This is the power supply. Uh, transformer 12012 transformer for this application we have used a selector transformer okay this is a uh, bakelite sheet on which we have placed to carry out the experiment and this is the debugger mm uh, mm32 link okay and this is the target pcb and this is the, some of the jumpers we have to do the experiment you know uh, to uh, to make it high and low and accordingly uh, the LED will glow. The uh, inputs will be made uh, uh, as we uh, previously discussed. It will be uh, implemented by using uh, 74HC165 and the output, the LED drivers will be made by uh, uh, 74HC595. Okay, a serial to parallel converter and is a parallel to serial converter for the input application. 
okay now uh, before we go uh, start the experiment again let us re um, uh, take a recap of uh, the circuit there is a 2595s if you see the uh, it is a, it is cascade there are three pins are there mainly which is coming from the microcontroller uh, data latch and clock and uh, this is the uh, pin this is the output pin uh, which has been cascaded to the next 595 okay now uh, this is the uh, condition and amp uh, the signal conditioning amplifier and this is uh, the section uh, the input section which is uh, uh, which is this one is the connector now let me just make it zoom so that you, you can see it in a very uh, proper way this is the uh, section the so you can see the registers all these things okay again we make it a uh, let me smaller okay and uh, this is uh, the uh, 595 okay 595 uh, 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 this is a 165 I beg your pardon uh, and this is the controller okay now let's go to the software part this is the software part uh, this is the actual software no uh, in the actual applications I have just made a test routine a test okay where we have uh, implemented our the experiment code only okay let us go to the here uh, we uh, whatever the value we want to place uh, on uh, on the LED we have to place in the data value and uh, data value means uh, and there is a one interesting thing uh, since we cannot control uh, the byte by bit by bit you no know, in the, every position of the 16 bit uh, data every bit will correspond to one LED output okay no we have written a uh, a macro uh, which will handle all these things now we have taken a uh, the variable and accordingly we have done the bit manipulation so when we said the set uh, some bit 25 led 25 percent led actually that particular bit will get set where is this bit let's go let's go to the definition it's the bit is 008 zero, uh, 800 accordingly we have defined the bit according to the circuit implemented that we have implemented okay this is according to the you have to explore this thing to uh, have a full uh, confidence on how it actually is implemented okay now uh, let's uh, compile the code again go on there. so th this is the scan 74165 this is the code which scans the 747165 the 74165 okay it scans okay if you see uh, there are th basically three inputs clock data and latch okay to communicate uh, with 595 and uh, when uh, we actually communicate with this uh, 165 we have to enable uh, we have to activate this pin so that at the time it can be uh, it can, uh, uh, can uh, um, the communication will get activated okay so let's uh, see the code now we will uh, compile the code compile the code okay is fine okay this is a, a, a before I dump the code this is a mm32 link uh, uh, programmer debugger uh, you have to install the driver all these things then you will get by default it will not be there okay. now uh, let's dump the code now I, I I will show you how it works actually now I told you this uh, the corresponding now this corresponds to the LED I, if I open it it will get uh, then I will put the next one next one okay then the next one and the next one next one just observe it very carefully Oh, these are the LEDs actually which is which are 
now uh, connected to the input signals connected means physical this is a map to the input signals we need two more jumpers jumpers uh -huh. so this is how uh, we can interface uh, 595 and uh, 165 one for the input of the digital signal and the other for the output of the digital signal to drive here in the particular case we have uh, uh, driven the LEDs okay I hope you have um, uh, liked the experiment and if you have any uh, question just put all your queries in the comment box i will be very glad to answer your queries thank you very much